So does the brand of botulinum toxin type A that you use make a difference? Does it matter? Does it matter in terms of efficacy for you and your patient, uh, in terms of the intensity of result? Does it matter in terms of longevity? Uh, does it matter in terms of general overall outcomes? We're going to take a a dive into this um, and look at the brands of toxin available in the UK and Irish markets, how that kind of landscape has changed, particularly in the last couple of years, um, and in terms of the brands of toxin that are available to us, and then try and have a look at some of what is limited data in terms of um, comparisons and actually how difficult it is is to actually do that effectively. Um, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so up until a couple of years ago, sort of end of 2021, uh, beginning of 2022, uh, the major brands um, and generic preparations of botulinum toxin type A available for cosmetic indications in the UK and Ireland have been Ona botulinum toxin type A, most commonly known uh, via the trademark Botox. Then we've had Inco botulinum toxin type A, which in terms of um, uh, the brand names, uh, it has been Bocatur. Um, also seen in non-cosmetic indications uh, with the brand name Zeoman. And then Abo botulinum toxin type A, most commonly known UK and Ireland as Azalur. Um, and uh, really, these brands um, and generic preparations of botulinum toxin type A have dominated the UK and Irish markets. Um, but as I say, you know, in the last couple of years, there have been a couple of different brands which have come to the market. So you've got Letty botulinum toxin type A. You've got um, Illusions, which is the, the, the first uh, ready-to-use um, pre um, reconstituted product ever uh, to come to the market um, and then there's been um, another brand known as Juveau uh, which um, came slightly later but basically all of these brands are slightly different variations on botulinum toxin type A and they differ on a you know on a chemical basis based on protein load based on um, you know, slightly different um, configurations, but all with the aim to achieve the same thing. Um, and particularly for new injectors, you know, it really is hard to know, um, you know is, is one better than the other? I think my take on it um, with having more knowledge and experience with using the most common brands, so you know, specifically Bocatur, Botox and Azalur, um, my opinion is that, you know, all else being equal, i.e. reconstituting the product properly, giving the dose that was intended to be given, um, that uh, all of these products are basically the same um, and the efficacy is equivalent with all other things being the same. Um, I think that when you look carefully um, at individual clinical situations that different results are less to do with the product and more to do with patient expectation, um, tying and, and teaming that up with dose. Uh, you know, those are the things that are going to give people and patients the results that they want. Um, and those are the things that you need to be most mindful of. Okay, so are there any papers, um, studies of decent quality uh, comparing um, these different um, toxin brands. So there are a few, um, but some of them are, you know, very low numbers as in subjects within the trials. Um, the structure of the studies are not, not brilliant, um, but the one that I like um, and I think is a decent quality of study is the one from Kane et al. 2015 which was a randomized, double-blinded study comparing Ona botulinum toxin type A, i.e. Botox, and Inco botulinum toxin type A, i.e. Bocatur. Um, and where this was a, uh, as I said, a randomized, double-blinded study um, with 250 subjects. So, I mean, that's a reasonable number. I mean, it's not massive, don't get me wrong, um, but it is a reasonable study. And, um, 
basically this looked at the treatment of the glabella so the frown area using an equivalent dose um, of toxin ie 20 units and looking at the effect that this had at different points in time. So the, the original um, kind of um, premise of the study was to look at this just at one month, but as it, as it uh, transpired, um, they you know, eventually looked at how uh, effective the treatment was um, at one month, two months, three months, and four months. And really to kind of cut to the chase, uh, the, you know, there was really basically no difference um, in terms of Ingo versus Ona botulinum toxin type A, both from uh, an investigator standpoint, i.e. what did the person who was kind of evaluating this study from a scientific perspective think, and then the patient satisfaction. You know, they were both very good, very high, uh, with very little difference between them. Um, so I'm gonna pop the um, uh, reference to this study just for your, uh, you know, for your reference to have a look at. Um, but I think in essence, provided everything else is the same, um, that there is probably little to no difference between different toxin brands, in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, hit like, subscribe, and share to see a bit more.